Hello students, today we are going to discuss green skills. This is one of the very important chapters in your syllabus. We will discuss what green skills are, then we are going to discuss a special program launched by uh, Government of India that is uh, GSDP, then we will, we will study society and environment, then different forms of the natural resources, then main categories of natural resources, then we are going to discuss at the last saving the environment that is how can we save environment and this we will discuss uh, under three headings, three R's that is reduce, reuse and recycle. So without wasting time, students, let's start. Hello students, let's start the chapter green skills. Before discussing the green skills, at first we are going to discuss our dependency on the nature and how we are exploiting the nature. Here in this slide, you can see beautiful images of forest, river and grasslands. As you know, we all are dependent on forests, rivers and grasslands. For what? For water, food, fuel and for many other things. We use these resources to fulfill our requirement. Hence, we depend on plants and animals to make our survival. And this dependency on flora and fauna affect the environment which in turn affects our life. Let's first understand the concept of flora and fauna. Flora means plants or vegetations around us while as fauna means the animals around us now the question arises how our dependency affects the environment students as you know consumption of flora and fauna by human is very fast and human intervention has posed a danger to the ecosystem and this intervention has endangered many species of plant and animal life. Here, you need to understand the meaning of endangered. It means in the danger of disappearing from the world. Now, in the next slide, you can see the image of a running plant or factory. Students, it is a beautiful sign of development, but in the race of development, we have forgotten our environment and our environment has suffered a lot in the race of development. So it has become a necessity to acquire some skills to protect our environment and these skills can be defined as green skills. Students, green skills refers to the skills for sustainability or sustainable development. Now, the question is, what is sustainable development? Students, it is economic development that is conducted without depletion of natural resources. Now, what is this depletion? Depletion means exhaustion or you can simply understand by saying without harming. Okay, so economic development that is conducted without harming uh, harming the natural resources. As you can see in this picture, this is a beautiful example of uh, sustainable development. Here you can see wind turbine as well as wind energy. Okay, so these skills or green skills include the knowledge, ability and values to develop a sustainable and resource efficient society. Now, what is this resource efficient? It means using the natural resources without wasting too much of it. That is called resource efficient society. Okay. Here in this slide, we are going to discuss a program launched by Government of India. This is known as Green Skill Development Program. This program was initially launched in 2017 as a pilot project in 10 districts only, where 154 youths, mainly school dropouts, were trained as para taxonomists and biodiversity conservationists. Now, what is para taxonomists? It means these are men and women, especially from the rural communities that receive an intense practical course that covers the fundamental of biology, ecology, evolution and so many other things. Simply you can understand para taxonomists are men and women from the rural communities who are receiving the knowledge of environment so that they can protect our environment. Now come to the next topic that is society and environment. 
we are going to first discuss what society is students society is a group of individuals or large social group sharing the same social territory or typically subject to the same political authority means who they are living in the same territory and who they are governed by the same political authority okay or simply you can define society as people living together in villages and cities or you can say in states and countries that form a society and the people they are living in a society they are dependent on environment and changes it at the same time increase in population growth has adversely affect the environment hence we are using large amount of natural resources such as water mineral petroleum products woods and so many other things so it is very important to discuss natural resources now what natural resources are before that we are going to discuss what resource is students resource is a stock or supply of goods natural or artificial substances used by human in order to function effectively okay now what natural resources are these are the things or substances found naturally or freely in the environment for example you can see water forest soil rocks land animals fuels and so many other things and what are artificial resources these are the things or substances developed by the human being in order to develop civilization for example biogas as you can see over here or plastic thermal electricity etc or so many other things now let's discuss the forms of natural resources and the first one is land resources as you know human uses land for living and production we use land for agriculture or non agriculture purpose and the next is forest resources forests are used for making furnitures bridges match matches boards and so many other things and forest is source of energy for cooking too we depend on forest for many things like honey waxes drugs gums musk ivory etc and so many other things and the third one is water resources as you know water is necessary for life it includes rivers lakes oceans and underground levels and as you know it covers 3 quarters of our surface and the next is mineral resources a mineral resource is concentration of solid material on earth crust in such a form that it becomes a useful material yes for example metals iron copper aluminum and so many other things or for example you can say non metals also like salt clay sand and some consist of single component or single element like gold silver diamond and the next is food resources these resources are used as food okay for example plants animals birds and so many other things plants are consumed by herbivores as you know and animals birds are consumed by carnivores and the next is energy resources this resource produce heat or electricity there are five fundamental source of energy and the first one is nuclear fusion in the sun or you know this as solar energy and the next one is gravitational force next is nuclear fission reaction and the next is energy stored in interior of earth and the next is energy stored in chemical bonds so these are the sources of energy now let's discuss the main categories of natural resources okay and the first one is an exhaustible resource students these are the resources cannot be exhausted by human okay for example wind power water power solar radiation and tidal power okay and the next one is exhaustible resources these resources are available in limited quantities and will be exhausted as a result of continuous use for example coal next one is renewable resources renewable resource can be used repeatedly and has an endless supply such as solar energy geothermal pressure etc and the third one is non renewable resources non renewable resources have limited supply and cannot be replaced once they are destroyed for example fossil fuels minerals and so many other things Okay here in this slide you can see a few examples of renewable uh, resources and non renewable resources 
please note it down okay students now we are going to discuss the different activities or human activities that has caused a great harm to the environment and the first one is mining what is mining digging below the earth surface to get ores is called mining okay here it will be is okay now these ores are then refined to get valuable elements such as metals minerals etc okay what mining causes mining causes erosion loss of biodiversity and contamination of ground uh, ground water and surface water by chemicals the next activity is pollution the presence of harm substances in air water and land which can have and the next is pollution the next is deforestation and the next is over exploitation okay let's discuss over exploitation it means consumption of resources faster than their reproduction okay over exploitation affects ecological cycle or environment for example consumption of wild medical or medicinal plants or destruction of forest so this is called over exploitation now let's discuss how can we save the environment saving environment can be discussed under 3 r's and these are reduce reuse and recycle now first discuss what reduce is this is use less things it means do not use the items or resources those are not necessary okay do not shop beyond your need avoid plastic carry bags avoid disposals or disposables etc okay now the next is reuse it means use things for longer time what you can do you can reuse the items at your home how you can make pillow of used clothes now the third one is recycling what does it mean use things in new and different way okay recycling is done by segregating the waste into wet and dry garbage at home only why because most wet garbage includes kitchen waste which can be used to prepare vermi compost okay many solid items like aluminium and steel can be recycled many times and also plastic and paper can be recycled so this is how we can protect our environment so students i hope you understood this chapter or this session very well meet you in the next session of this chapter thank you